Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a background kind of like this, and I'm also going to give you guys my template. So first what you want to do is go to the description of this video and download my template. So uh, go to your internet, type in the, well, click the link, that's the link. It will be an ad fi link, and as you can see, it'll hey, say ad fi. Paul here from Paul.com. Let's mute that. I just it's wanted just to take a few minutes to I'll show wait, you undeniable say, wait up here, and then that I'm skip making ads. over $130,000 a month and month then you can download profits from just template. one of my online so businesses. So wait for that to download. Now, a lot of other websites use made-up testimonials and fake screenshots to try to get you to buy their junk. That's done, and then we'll drag that to the desktop. That's all you got to do. Then go to Photoshop. File, open. Wait for that to open. Now, as you can see, it looks nothing like the background I just showed you. So I'm going to show you what this stuff is. The back one is the background. So let's make a background. To ma uh, make the background how I made it, what I do is I take black, and I took a gray. Eh, that's good. Not the same gray, but it doesn't really matter. Then what you want to do is go to paint bucket, make the whole background black, then change the color, go up to brush right here, and then change the brush to uh, 65, and then change it the whole way up to 2,500. Then just kind of center it, and uh, click, <coughs> sorry, and then it's going to give you like a kind of light in the middle, dark on the ends. Now also what I did is I added um, these. These things right here. And uh, what I did is I used a brush. It's a tribal brush. And uh, there should be a link in the description to download those. Um, but <clears throat> I already have them downloaded. So what I did is I just choose to, uh, chose which one I wanted. All that stuff. And then edit it together. But I already have that. So I'm just going to place the picture I used. Which is right here. And there we go. Now we already got the background done. Uh, what you want to do for the the tribal, if you're going to do this, change it from normal um, overlay to a soft light, and that's going to change it to uh, like it's going to not be as bright and it's going to look better. And then I already added the shadow, but what you want to do is uh, double click it and put it on a drop shadow. Now, since I already have it, I'm not going to do it again, uh, but it won't have a shadow. And then this, as you can see, it that's what it does. It gives it a shadow and it makes it pop, and uh, that's kind of good. Or at least I think it's kind of good. Now for the outside, um, what I did is, let's see what I did. I kept it the same. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Uh, you can change whatever color, but what you want to do is double click it and then add a drop shadow as well. That's going to make it stand out more. Um, it's going to look like it's actually off the, the background and it's going to it, make it look good. Now this one, there's two. Uh, there's an inside with one right here and uh, if you only have one person in your um, your others box like on uh, OMFG like on my channel um, I only have one which is my game vid channel so that I use that but uh, if you have more than one then you're gonna use the inside one because uh, it gets rid of the white bar now what you wanna do here is uh, duplicate your background hit OK drag it above the inside right there and then right click it and hit create clipping mask. What that's going to do is it's going to overlay it, but it's only going to overlay the black or uh, like the actual part. And then we're going to double click the inside and make it a drop shadow. Uh, that way it just stands out more and it uh, kind of pops off the screen as well. Uh, now for the fade, the fade is the last thing. Um, now the fade is black normal, but what you want to do is kind of get a color that's in it. <coughs> Go right here and then just click the bottom color or whatever color you want. Um, and then remember that color. This one is 585858. So um, we're going to click it on, double click it, go to color overlay, change it from uh, black to uh, that number I told you. Now you also want to make sure you remember that number because that's the number you're going to make your YouTube background. And as you can see, um, that's the background. Um, not exactly the same color as the one I, I did make made it a, a lighter gray and then we'll just put in our, our name I'll use the font Stenha and if you want this font uh, there's a link in the description you can download it I'm just gonna put in game vids I don't want it lowercase GAM3 VIDZ make it a nice white just so it stands out 
right there. And then uh, I'm going to double click and add a drop shadow just so it pops off the screen. I like the stuff that pops. It makes it more visible. It doesn't look like it's all two-dimensional. And then uh, we're going to line it up just a little bit over here. Uh, make sure you don't put it the whole way over because uh, if your text is really long, it'll give you like a scroll bar here. And then uh, your name or whatever will be overlaid. Or you can put it wherever. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to save this real quick. Save as JPEG uh, my YouTube BG. Uh, now this is the most important part. You cannot have it over 256. Um, now I don't have much on it, so it's not that big. But usually if you go the whole way up to 12, it'll be like a megabyte. And you can't do that on YouTube. You can get away with around like 300 because it does downgrade when you save it. But then we want to open up our uh, internet, go to our YouTube. Uh, and most of you guys don't know how to do this, so I'm going to show you. Go to my channel. Pause my video. Uh, go to themes and colors. Show advanced options. Delete the background image. Put in the image you just made. <clears throat> Make sure repeat background is off. If you if you turn on this, what it's going to look like? It's going to look like crap. So make sure it's off. Turn off. There we go. Change the wrapper transparency right here from 100%. Well, from none, it'll be on none uh, to 100%. It's going to let your stuff show through. And then change the transparency from none to 100% as well. And then make sure you change your background color to uh, that number, which is 585858. Luckily, I remembered. And as you can see, it just fades into whatever color your background is. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And again, like try to, you know, try to make it smaller so it doesn't like stuff doesn't overcrowd or whatever. Uh, you could also put it on the side or whatever. Um, that's all up to you guys. I mean, it's your background. Make it yourself. But uh, in the description is the font I use, Stenha, um, the brushes, the link to the brushes, and uh, also uh, my template. So make sure you download that template. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'll show you another thing that you can make. I did a carbon fiber background. And uh, let's see if I can find it. I got so many files, guys. So many files. Um, not there. Wrong file. Folder. There we go. Um, carbon fiber. Right here. And if you want this background, this background is also on my website. I will be making some more backgrounds. Um, and if you guys want them, they're on my website, gamevids.com. Right here, it will have the logo. Uh, it'll have it'll have gamevids.com on the the backgrounds though. But hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Again, uh, you can just take that crappy looking template and make it look awesome, kind of like this, or like this, or like this. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.